That's two. That's 150. That's 200. It's go time, baby. It's go time. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. The main event here. If I sound a little weird because I'm a little bit under the weather, but never mind now. Back with some more rank battles for you guys. It's been a couple of videos since I put one of these up. Uh, brand new team. You should see the thumbnail. Um, it should have some details for the team. Uh, it's an Annihilate team. Um, something that I put together. The team feels pretty okay. I need to practice some more to practice some matchups that I'm struggling with a bit. Um, but I do think it's a good team. I think it'd be a little bit better, but you'll see how it works in the uh, in the actual battles. Uh, question of the day, what do you think of Final Gambit Annihilate? Is it good or wasteful? I'm not personally a fan of the, fi um, of the Final Gambit stuff. Um, I just think it's a bit wasteful personally of the good Pokemon, especially because most people just kind of click it without thinking. Um, but everyone's entitled to their own opinion. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, click the, the like button for your boy if you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're new here, click, so please uh, click subscribe. We're really close to a thousand. I'm trying to get there. Um, I'm going to do something for a thousand, of course. And I think that's all I got for you today. Um, so I'll see you guys in the first battles. Peace. So this is actually going to be a little bit tough. The reason it's going to be a little bit tough is because... Actually, no. I'll just leave Trick Room because they have uh, Mio Scarta, which makes it a little bit difficult. But does it actually make it difficult? Could I just lead what I want to lead? No, it's probably safer to just go with the trick room stuff, unfortunately. I'll probably bring Grimstar on the back. Plus Annihilate still, though. Instead of the Hydra Gun. Yeah, I think that's fine. Now, this Grimmsnarl, I usually don't like bringing it with the Ndidi because I have the priority parting shot. But that's not something I have to click, right? Because I have screens. Okay, so this is good because I have Flash Fire. So, uh, but what I could do, because they might try to go for, like, a, no, do they go for a ghost move here? No, they, they always go for, um, for make it rain here. So I just wide guard in that trick room. Oh. <laughs> so um now i could expanding force which is very safe and you know what let's go for it new team let's try out all the tricks let's terra fairy with the uh ndd they're not going to change their type because they don't want to get expanding force spam And because my armor rolls will go first, I should knock out the, um, unless they bring in the, uh, no switches, so they don't have their, uh, Murkrow in the back to swap into this. I should KO the, the, uh, the, uh, Volcarona, and then I get single target damage. I, I don't have any investment on this Ndidi, but Terra Fairy into four times weak single target. Oh, they're changing types. This is fine, though. This is actually okay. I'm max HP, so I should be able to... Because now I get damage off into it. Yeah, they resist. Oh, my goodness. No, never, that, that's actually pretty bad. <laughs> Indeedy is so bulky. Now I just pick up double KOs. Um, 
I'm still gonna dazzling gleam just in case they try to swap something in. They must not have protect. They were waiting for a follow me there. But I'm not the type who thinks you should be playing into follow me that way. Oh, you're gonna take a lot of damage from this. He's gonna take so much damage from this. That's not that much damage. So I gotta check my trickman turns here. Because that's gonna depend that's gonna determine how I play the rest of this game. If I have two turns, I'm good. I have two turns. Okay, so I can actually They're gonna go for Rage Powder. So I can go for this just fine, this armor cannon. Armor cannon and follow me is safe. That's why follow me is safe. So they can't protect again. So here's the thing, right? I don't actually go for armor cannon this time, I don't think. I don't go for the armor cannon this time. Actually, yes, I do because I dropped, they dropped my special attack. So now I kind of have to go for the armor cannon. If they bring something else in, it's just going to have to get nuked. As simple as that. If they swap something in, it has to get nuked. Yeah, I'll just have to blow it up. Oh, that thing resists fire. Oh, they have the wrong body? The wrong the wrong ability? They have the wrong ability. So this is kind of where they messed up. Let's see what they go for. Glaive Rush, Glaive Rush. Earthquake. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. That's insane. But I'll take the two free switchings. I'll gladly take the free switchings. Um I didn't expect them to have earthquake at all. That's a good play. Or I would have wide guarded for sure. I light screen first. I protect. And then next turn I get to reflect and annihilate. Should be able to win this game. Oh, we'll take that every day of the week. That's even better. Light screen goes up. The berry berry kicks in. I have a little bit of special defense investment as well. Um, I have to get up the reflect here. Gonna be necessary to survive. I drain punch here. 
because I'm gonna let them power up my uh, rage fist. Even though I'd probably take out the Goldengo right now, but I'm actually worried about that right there. I have my berry, which is why I have the berry. Now, are we faster than Goldengo? Yes, we are. So now we got our health back. So now Gandango should not be able to knock us out. Shadow Ball is going to be tough. But that means they're not choice specs. They're life form. I, I should have paid attention to that. I'm just going to Spirit Break here. I'm just Rage Fist and that should be the game. That's the game. Haha. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna lead my stuff. I'm gonna lead the uh, <clears throat> the Sneasel and the Annihilate. Hydreigon feels like it's pretty safe to bring. And then Grimmsnarl. Yeah, I like this. They have that, uh, they have their own screens, which is not ideal. But it's not like the end of the world either, right? I do wonder what they lead. They probably lead their uh, their cleft key and their goldango, maybe. They're in, okay, so they're, they're leading their screens on turn one. They could probably fake out here pretty safely. If I Terra, they can't hit me for a super effective move, so I can bulk up. And even if they bulk up, it's not the end of the world. And I'll show you why. Please don't be Covert Cloak. Totally okay with that. Totally okay with that. So now, I, I mean, I don't want to give him a defiant boost. But how much damage can that thing really do, right? Let's go for it. Yeah, I thought they might go for their reflect. So this is the right play by me. That's two. That's 150. That's 200. It's go time, baby. It's go time. Do the reflect like a, oh, like a, like a G. Do the reflect. And I want to, I can beat up again. So I'm actually going to ignore the Tyranitar here. <clears throat> I'm going to Icy Wind to lower that Clef T speed. And then Drain Punch into it. No. Rage Fist into it. Ah, they knew it was over. <laughs> Yo, we will take that W, son. We will always take those wins. Right, I'm going to lead the Sneasel here in the Annihilate. Um, we have Garchomp. 
But I can bring this for screen support. And if I bring this, I can hit mostly everything here, right? Yeah, I like this. I like this. Gargana still I can hit, even if they have Terra Ghost. Um, Arcanine will just give me a Defiant boost. Garchomp I threatened with uh, with Sneasel, so they probably don't lead it, or if they do, they switch it out right away. Grimstone and Amoongus. I'm kind of fine with this. I don't want to get put to sleep here. So I'm going to get a bulk up off. They tear it really fast. I wonder what they're tearing or terrestrializing. Dark? Why dark? Yeah, I don't know why dark there. Are they going for the uh, the nasty uh, the, the spirit break? I'm okay with that. I get the bulk up off and I get the free switch to Grimmsnarl. I was gonna swap the Grimmsnarl next turn anyway. Get up this reflect. If I Terra and go for this, it'll actually, it, even if they reflect, it should KO them still. I was gonna save the Terra for the Hydreigon, but um, I kinda need to deal with this Amoongus as soon as possible. And again, they can't really Spirit Break to me safely because I'll get up this reflect and I'll also get a boost off that are they slower than me or they're going for an attack here they're going for an attack here uh let's see what they go for if it's spirit break then i'm i'm very content with that it's a lot of damage not gonna lie to you Now, I haven't been hit yet, right? So Rage Fist is not really like <clears throat> the ideal play. Probably gonna Spirit Break into this thing though. Cause it, it, it might wanna try to yawn and I don't wanna just give up a yawn for free. I don't want to give. I don't want to give up a free yawn. So at least take some damage for your yawn. Let's go. So now we'll actually just KO that thing. We will not KO that thing. But at least the special attack is down. Clear smog. I ain't worried about that. I'm not worried about that at all. What do I have in the back? Um, yeah, I don't want to switch into that. I'm gonna light screen here. I'm just gonna bug up again. <laughs> Mirror herb. What? 
Yeah, Grimshaw did what he had to do. He did his job. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's light. Now I should probably switch in, not switch in. I should probably go into this Grimshaw to get rid of it, double it up, double up on him. Cause we know it can't protect. Yeah, but we know it probably survives. And they probably just want to clear smog again, which is not the end of the world because I'm still getting um, rage fist boost. Yeah. I'm not overly concerned with that. So see what they bring in. Oh, Defiant Boost. We'll take those. All that just to give up a Defiant Boost is crazy. I'm the Draco. And protect because it can't hit me otherwise and i'm not sure what the arcanine speed is i know i'm not max speed on my uh, annihilate and i'm not sure if this just picks up the knockout so yeah you see that it doesn't but another one should okay good thing that ice beam is not that much damage on us Oh, I had to reflect. I should have thought about that. Um, I'm going to Draco again. And then I'm going to Drain Punch. Play Rough is not stabbed, though. So I'm actually not as worried about that. I was more worried about Flare Blitz. <laughs> All right. Good game, uh, Kyrios. Good job. All right. So I'm going to leave the Sneasel and the Annihilate here for sure. Um, They don't have any Fairy types. So this feels pretty good. This feels pretty good. I do think, no, I'm not actually a fairy weak team because I have a fire type which resists and I have steel hydragon. I just need to position them better um, against fairies. Uh, I probably mentioned this in the intro, but I was playing like some practice games and the thing that comes up as a trouble usually for the team is Sylveon. But I think I was playing those matches wrong. Um and I can I can do just though I can do just fine against it if I just play better. But this team doesn't have one. So let's see what they got. Garganasil and Volcarona. I wonder what the plan is here. I do wonder what the plan is here. Um I fake out and I feel like I can get a free bulk up here, right? Do they tear a ghost? They probably tear a ghost. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. Can I get a bulk up, a free bulk up? Salt here is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. The most annoying part about it is the um is the fact that it uh takes a long a lot of animation time. This is already base 100, so I'm just going to go for it.
Icy Wind comes out. And we should knock out the Volcarona here with the bulk up and the base 100. Rage Fist. Oh, we don't knock out. And they're very, okay, oh, they're bulky, okay. That's why we don't knock out, because they put all their investment into bulk, which is fine. Yeah, that means nothing to me. Let's see what they go for with um the Garganus though. Okay, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with that. I'm actually okay with that. What do I have in the back? Oh, I have Grimmsnarl, so this can actually go down. Got him, son. I got him, son. What I should have did though was um, Terra fighting here, but no, cause that 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 puts me in body fresh range. That's good damage, and that's perfect. And I, I wanted Sneezer to go down here. That'll knock me into my berry. Light screen is fine. What do they have in the back? Is this, that's going to be important. Nothing in the back actually scares me that much. So I'm going to rage fist here because they can't protect and nothing can switch into it. Recover is fine. So now it's a matter of what they bring in in here. If it's like, um, what's it called? Ooh, Dragapult could be tricky. I'm just gonna reflect. Yeah, I'm gonna reflect because if they need to go for dragon darts here, between my bulk up and my reflect, I should be okay. This is okay too, I think, at this point in the game. Are they gonna recover again? Yeah. Uh, Spirit Breakers of Dragapult feels fine. And I'm actually gonna swap. I don't wanna, I wanna, I keep my boost. I don't wanna um, go down to burn plus thing here. In case they have a uh, Magna Zone in the back. If they Phantom Force, I'm okay with that. 
Oh, it's special. That's a pretty decent chunk of damage. So Dragapo is essentially useless now. <clears throat> now they could be like Dragon, they could be like Dragon Pulse here or Draco Meteor. So I'm gonna Spirit Break and um and protect here. Cause I don't wanna get hit by a Draco. Even at minus one, even behind light screen. I just don't want to take that chance when I don't have to, you know? I don't have to um, worry, but I don't have to risk a crit or anything here. Even if they recover, I can beat that thing down in the end game. I can beat that thing. Of course they have protect on their Dragapult. Of course they have protect, but it's not the end of the world. Let's see what they go for. Did they go for body press? What for salt cure? Salt cure recover? Why are they not using their body press? <laughs> We're thinking the exact same stuff. So them losing some special attack here is actually good. So now it's a matter of do they have protect on Magnezone? That's kind of that's kind of basically what I'm worried about here. Cause I, I die this turn if I uh if I if they have protect. I need light screen up for the end game just in case. I'm not gonna waste my terror here. Ah, they fucking got me, son. <clears throat> they got me. That's a good switch. All right, so this is not the end though, right? Because This is not over at all. Cause I know they don't have protect on that Garganasil. I'm gonna reflect just in case I need to. I'm hoping this turn they protect with Dragapult thinking that I'm gonna protect with Hydreigon again. But even if they don't, if they go for a Draco, it doesn't kill me. And I know Dragapult has nothing to hit Steel Types with. I got them. I got them this time. Let's go. They got me last time I got them this turn.
that's perfectly okay. That's perfectly okay. 696. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. And now they're gonna recover. I should have protected this turn. Uh, I should have protected that turn. The recover definitely. I don't even know if I would have beat the Magna Zone in the end anyway. Ah, uh, that's all right. It's okay. That was a really good game. I want to practice with the team some more for matchups like that, where like I have to worry about uh. Can Dragapult not something that you you see a lot on the um on the ladder? You don't see it a lot. Now what did Terra Stealing do for me there? I kicked them for a dragon move, but they, if I knew that if I thought they were gonna protect, I should have just stayed in my uh in my non terra state. And then next turn I could have terrored because then they would have probably went for the dragon move then. Cause that made I lost my shadow law resist. So yeah, um, thank you guys for coming. Gotta practice with the team some more to work out certain matchups. But I like how I feel so far when I get the stuff off. Um, I I might have to consider the Terra Fire with the uh, Annihilate because of the burn stuff. But I really like Terra Fighting, man. I don't know. So we'll we'll figure that out. But thank you guys for watching. I see you guys in the next video. Peace.